As we draw nearer to a world where electric cars will be the norm, it's amusing how most people's idea of a cool electric car is included in a scale electric set. But electric cars have been around since the dawn of motoring. However, it went out of fashion fairly quickly, with petrol being cheaper to run on, and it's been hard for the electric car to fight back. No major surprise when you see some of the horror cars included in this list of the top 10 worst electric cars ever made. First off, a few that just missed out on our list, most of which are more bland than awful. For a start, I think the Sinclair C5 was a smashing idea 30 years ahead of its time, but I still don't quite see what anybody finds cute about the Twizy. Then there's the Gurgle, a sour offering from Brazil, and the average the Concoda from America, which sells in China as the Hyphae Cybo EV, apparently. Fellow countryman at Mars EV proved a failure for 10 years. And then there's the L car, goodness sake, and the city car, just don't ask. All very impressive, but to be truly awful, you have to be much, much worse than these. So brace yourselves and get ready for some graphic images of badness. You may want to ask young children to leave the room. We'll start with a thoroughly odd idea, the Corbin Sparrow, or the Myers Motors NMG, depending on who you speak to, which appeared in the Austin Powers movie Goldmember, and was designed for use by Domino's Pizza. Well, it's certainly the maddest delivery car I've ever seen. Next, we have the Zap Zebra that launched stateside in 2006, was phased out three years later, and then all models were recalled in 2013 due to a failure to meet the braking requirements for a motorcycle. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Norway's offering to the electric car market is next, the Think City. It's a bit like the last Robbie Williams comeback. A good idea done very badly. The company went bankrupt in 2012, not a surprise when the car cost £25,000 brand new. 25 grand? For what? It's our first day of a tie break in 7th place, as the truly pathetic handbag on wheels that is the Citroen C0 shares the honour with the Peugeot Ion. Mind you, that is mostly because they are exactly the same car with a different badge on it. Give me strength. Our next contestant is the Renault Fluence, which needed a mandatory lease of the battery in order to purchase it. Not exactly the best scheme in history, and the car was canned after just two years. But if at first you don't succeed, the Twizy isn't a better alternative, Renault. Jog on! Fifth position goes to the GEM, once owned by Chrysler and chiefly used by street vendors in America. And although 50,000 of them have been sold and it's the top electric car in the USA, just look at it. It's utterly ridiculous. Then there's the Zen which stands for zero emission, no noise. What a lovely sentiment. Such a shame that the car based on the French microcar MC2 wasn't any good. Well, why would it be when the microcar was just as awful? Right, to the podium. It's now common knowledge how woeful the Reva I or G Wiz really is, thanks to three clowns on a car show. But after 11 years of worldwide production, things were so bad in the end that the car was finally replaced with the Mahindra E20. My word, that's how bad it got. In second, the Jinan Flybo is one step away from the top spot. A Chinese pocket rocket. Well, no, it isn't. I'm trying to find something, anything, that can redeem it. Perhaps something that was brilliant about it? Uh, no, there's nothing. And so to our grand champion, the GMEV1. General Motors was supposed to revolutionise the car industry by giving us an electric car for the masses but they did it 20 years too soon. The technology wasn't developing fast enough, and the EV1 proved to be too much too soon. And ultimately, it was one small step for the electric car, one massive kung fu kick back to the crusher. And yes, all the cars that weren't sold were crushed. And I presume the remains were then dusted under a carpet somewhere. Hey ho, but wait, do you remember that Corbin Sparrow we showed you earlier? Well, apparently they've built a new one, so maybe it'll be a better attempt at the electric car market. Perhaps. Like and subscribe for more great content here on Trade Price Cars. I'm Jake Sanson. See you next time.